Credentials. Second deck. Mm -hmm. All those in favour? Number 11, Highways, Councillor Sales. Thank you. Um, obviously everyone's got the Highways Committee report, hopefully, and the hit them, we probably don't need to dive into the of any questions. There is an add-on, um, which, I don't know, it comes down to Highways or Environmental, really, which is the problem with the A20 water, um, which is waste water going up into people's facilities, um, Chris Brown and public people in um, Hampshire's, where the, water, the waste is backing up so they can't use their showers and toilets, and it's four times this month it's happened. Um, and it has been passed on to various people, and someone from the borough has taken that up and is talking to them, and hopefully will find a way to blend it. Very nice. That's foul water from the sewer. Yes. Yes. So obviously once that's that hopefully by the next meeting there'll be a report on how that's been resolved. So they've got their own sort of mini Glastonbury. Yes, they have. Yes. <laughs> uh, any other questions? Uh, no. Okay, thank you. Jeanette? Footpath and Pilgrim's Way by Percy, Councillor Thompson. Yes, we have uh, <coughs> managed to uh, scrape up some scalpings from somewhere. They've been donated and I'm hoping to go out there on Saturday if the weather's reasonable just for an hour just to put these scalpings on the path and assess what would be needed, etc. It's, it's not going to cost us an awful lot of anything to this, is it? But I just want to start the process. I suppose the other what thing we're going to do is that we're going to uh, uh, treat the wood, excluding Percy at the moment. Um, we're going to try and get old Steve Porch from out and get his perspective <coughs> how we can treat Percy, whether it's down a pub or whatever. Like that. so it's, um, I think it's, it's, it's yeah, it's, it's a sculpture, yes. So I think it's a matter of, uh, we'll just take it for these. What I was going to ask is, uh, regarding the environmental contract, Obviously, that area is part of the environmental contract, so we go by it quite a bit. So if we have an idea of as to whether it's going to be cut or not, if it be cut again, then it'll just uh, help us and so when we go up there. So at the moment, it's quite reasonable really it's been cut, um, so we can get to it. But obviously, it'd be nice to know when it's going to be cut up there. Do you want to send your copy of the contract? Just that part, yes, thank you. I'll ask, I'll ask Heber and ask him when they can choose to ask him. Question. Question. Forgive my ignorance, but what are scalpings? Uh, it's a bit like road planings. It's just the um, bits off the road that can ground down that you can put on. It's like a sub dressing. But that's what we used up there in the first place. And we've had a drive topped up a bit. And that's just got a big bug of scalpings. And there's only a little bit that needs to do up by the... Um, not just the number of Yeah. That's, 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 that's what Red Indians used to do with a job That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I think it's a bit strange. Um, oh, there is a, there is a, I, I, actually I did say I would do it, I, I forgot so I will. He said part of the railing's missing. Yeah. And I said I'd replace it. Did you? That's very kind. Yeah. So this, I will. Have you got this to piece of wood that's... Yeah, I know. That's so, right. I've just got to go up and... Uh, but I've managed oh. to get our friendly uh, timber yard to uh, donate it. Okay. You want me to measure up and let me know how long it's going to be quiet? Save me a trip up there, you know, I've already got to go and fit in. Okay. So if it doesn't fit, yeah, do that. measure twice, <laughs> cut once. <laughs> we'll do. Right. Thanks, Tom. Um, anything else? Right. 13. Donation towards unexpected costs for the North Downs Walk. Over to you, Clark. Um, right, obviously uh, we supported the North Downs Walk, uh, this parking on the lead field. Um, about five days before the actual walk, um, one of the organisers from the Rotary Club uh, came into the office, soaking wet and very muddy, um, to tell me that a 4 by 4 vehicle had got up on the part of the route used by the people that do the six and nine miles. 
Um, and because of the damage, they were going to have to reroute the whole of those two walks. Um, obviously, this meant that all the maps and everything that had been printed then were obsolete. So it was a bit of a blind panic on the Friday, we could walk on the Sunday, for them to redo all the route and to get them printed, which unfortunately ended up costing them another £211. Um, now, the organisers said that they could take the money out of the money they give to Cancer Research, but they don't really want to have to do that because obviously they don't be supporting the, the charity. And they wondered whether the parish council could possibly make a donation of the cost of the meeting. Over to you. Thank you. Can I ask, do we pay anything else? No, no, we just let these films. Obviously, if there's any damage, they pay that. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't cost anything. us anything. Yeah. No. Right. I mean, it's... I just it's still run off. I'd like to see them get the money. So would I, but I'll say something. Mm. It sets a precedent yes. yeah. for the future. Yeah, I mean, I, I sort of donate to their, their on a separate basis as a personal, but I think he, it will set a precedent if we do it. It's, a, you know, it's obviously a really, really good cause. But I suppose, to I, I agree entirely with what you're saying about it sets a precedent. And my proposal is that we actually leave it like that. Is the sort of, off the record, we have a look around and make a contribution collectively. So I do think it does set a precedent. Personally. And yeah. I think that if we just uh, uh, can find some of one of us who actually gets together and we can go and donate it. But I, you know, I think everyone around the table would feel quite passionate about the charity. Yeah. Uh, that's why I don't think we should use the parish council's money to no. do it. So my proposal would be to not pay it. Well, if, if, if people can't make a donation to me, yeah. Yeah. Because I know the organisers, yeah. so I can pass it off. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. Okay. So okay. you're proposing that? Okay. Unfortunately, we propose we don't pay it, but we pay it by No, but you're proposing that we yeah. do that instead. Yeah, yeah. So that's what the proposal is. Yeah. Second. Second. So is everyone in favour of making it? Yeah. 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 Would you have got any reckon? 50 quid? Could we just say that? No. Quid? Well, <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's the command. Well, just whatever everyone can, and then I'm sure they'll be quite sure. Right. 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 Right the summary that I made, um, we went along to this meeting, I just took it as a calc, and I was going along to find out how much we might be asked to contribute if we joined in with calc in providing sufficient, providing funds, I'll read it, um, are we willing in principle to contribute to the cost of instructing the pro professional to act on our behalf? This is in respect of the local plan that's, um, that's now being considered by the inspector, or will be considered by the inspector in September, October. I don't know how long that goes on. So I think they, I got the impression it was Cal, um, and they were asking for contributions. So. What I wanted to find out was what's the basis of it. You know, is it a contribution per <coughs> head of the population that you've got, the working population, which means that there's a or a flat sum, how much money do they want, just to get some sort of feel. Well that wasn't what it was about, <laughs> this meeting. It wasn't. And, and it was and I will I will talk about this because I think it's something that we are so distant from that I think we should think about it. You send papers out, but do we really take it? Anyway, let me let me let me go into what um, I've jotted down. I try not to um, go on too long, but um, it was a meeting of Maidstone Calc, not Calc. Um, I 
worked out from the minutes that there are 34 members of Maidstone Cow. And my estimation was that only 50% of those parishes were represented there. Um, I sat in the audience, and they only allowed the councillors to go in, but I couldn't sit around the table. That was left to my dear friend Mike, because he's our representative to Cal. There are two representatives, Mike and Stephen. Stephen had other things on. Um, being an AGM, it was all about appointments. Um, Lennon was there, by the way. <laughs> it wasn't you, were you? I only no, saw no, the back no, no. of <laughs> um, Discussion about the local plan, it wasn't as simple as it was just CALC. There's another organisation, and I, I may have this wrong, so would you correct me if I... Joint Parishes Group. Yeah. So there's a, there's a combination between Maystone CALC and Joint Parishes Group, and they've got a committee. I don't know how many, but I would guess six or seven, something like that. And they were all there, and they were, seemed to me the only people that knew what they were talking about. And, and a lot of the people around the table weren't engaged. I certainly didn't know what they were talking about. But it all sounded like good stuff. And these people you know, had very good points to make. And by being linked together, um, they could make those points powerfully to the inspector. And it was really... They, they didn't go into the detail, but the, the, the sort of span is numbers of houses. Um, and the um, infrastructure, like roads, um, you know, the roads, well, this A20 is not that great, is it? But it sounds to me that the Sutton Road, where it converges with the Loose Road mm -hmm. on that junction, is an absolute nightmare. Mm -hmm. So I feel very sorry for those people there. Um, so it, 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 that's one of the things, but there's so much that I didn't understand what the big objections were, but that gives you a flavour. Um, so I put down here my observation that there's only about 10 people that were engaged in, it, in the, the conversations. So but they were very knowledgeable and very committed to it. And I have to say, you know, looking around the table, does anybody want to put their hands up? Um, the other subject that was discussed was neighbourhood plans. With all of these things, they said they're going to be sending information to parishes. Now that's happened because you've just sent out a yeah. whole wadge of stuff. <coughs> right. Um, but going back to neighbourhood plans, only two neighbourhood plans have been approved in the borough. Now bear in mind that this has been going on for what, four years? Yeah. And they said, you know, the big question is are they worth having? And each parish has to weigh up the cost of producing them against their worth. Now, we as a council have said that we won't do any more work on the neighbourhood plan. Our neighbourhood plan at the moment is the design statement that you guys, you guys produced. Um, but th th this is something I'll just put it down in my language. But they said if you've got a neighbourhood plan, there's money available. What does that mean? Well, I haven't got a clue what that means. And I don't know if... hmm? Well, it's, it's, you get money if you've got a neighbourhood plan. Further funding? It, 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 uh, it would be to fund to do a neighbourhood plan. You don't get money for having a neighbourhood plan. It's not very much, though, is it? It's about three I'm not, I'm not gonna, okay, thank you. But I got a different impression to that. But, okay, if that's... Because I don't know. I thought, well, I'll write that down you, because you'd get, we might want to change our minds. Um, community infrastructure levy. So instead of getting section 106, you can get up to 25% of the value of the development, isn't it? Yes. So you could sell the development here. If, if we've got our neighbor plan through and seal had then come in, instead of getting just whatever we would have got from section 106, Potentially, we would have got about a million pounds. Then, and it would go. So and it would have gone to then stuff I would we suggest we'd find out a lot more. Mm. Because you've, on the one hand, you've said it just goes to that. Mm. On the other hand, you've said there's seal and that, that would yeah, be. Yeah, section 106 was, now, would be overtaken by seal once you had an April plan in place. Well, what they've said is that the neighbourhood plan can be very simple, it can even be a wish list. Okay? 
So, I mean, you we've, might all, we've always said this. Yeah. They, they can go on that sheet of A4. Yeah, mm. so maybe. But they've just kicked one out. Have they? On a sheet well, of A4. <laughs> I, what I would suggest, I'm, 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 you know, I've got no knowledge about this, but I think we ought to find out through the planning committee and any help you can give us and Eddie can give us on what the places is that we're talking about, it might be worth having a wish list. But that brings in another factor, which is, as a village, how will we like to see it in the future? You know, what are the wishes? Well, that part of having an open plan is you have to have the sort of meetings with the residents to actually sit around the table and draw that up. You have to, when you when you submit a labour plan, you've got to be able to show that you've engaged with right. it, otherwise it will get thrown out okay. of the first place. So maybe a way forward, and it's not too late, maybe a way forward is to engage the village to say, look, we've got this part, we're not doing anything on as we did in the previous table plan, what are the things that you would be looking for for a village in the future? I'm, I'm waffling a bit here because I'm not, you know, I really don't know, but I think in the planning meeting on Monday, we ought to put that on the agenda and just have a... Well, you might give it to actually put to the next one. Oh. So you might need to hold up to the next one. Okay, the okay. okay. That's, that's on neighbourhood plans. And then there's something else to talk about, and that's the Maystone Borough Council and parish parish liaison meetings. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what are they all about? But it seems that we have to be a member of the um, parish liaison group, the PLG, to get an entree into that. And to the best of my knowledge, we're not. No, what about Lennon? Lennon are not in the liaison. Huh? No, Lennon are not in the Maystone no. no. liaison group. We were in the joint parish group. Yeah, and it became too expensive. Oh, is that right? uh, the way that they raised their money was you paid a sum of money for every elector you had on the board. Right. So obviously, Lenham being a big parish cost a great deal of the cost. Uh, and it, it, we belonged to it when it was with the kit and we, we saw it through. Um, of course, Thurnham paid very little because they were also on the parish. Yeah. And Lenham and um, Beersted paid, paid the majority of the cost. Yeah, and another so, thing that was found with yeah. that was we were all paying a lot of money into it, but it was the people around the kick site that were generally getting yeah, the benefit, yeah, the benefit of all of our yeah. money. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, that, that, that raises a thing, doesn't it? We, yeah. Yeah. Was we, job, came, we did come out of it eventually. Yeah. 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 Is yeah. our job for Harwich or is our job for...? Well, I mean, when I look at all the stuff that come round, mm. and I think of, you know, they've highlighted big areas of development, well we've had big areas of development, but I haven't seen Geraldine jump up and down on our part. No. no. Well, for me, it's something where I'd like to understand it much better so I could form an opinion. You, 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 you've lived with it a long time. And I'm just reporting, really, um, and, and suggesting that, and we might admit that we've got to examine it or understand it more. Um, oh, and then they talked a bit about parish funding and said over the last 10 years parishes have paid have doubled their precepts um, that's it and there was a, something that never occurred to me and that was that um, we pay precepts and we pay you know, I'll put in this for a parish clerk and we pay amenities budgets whereas and so we pay council tax plus that in the middle of Maystone, they pay council tax and all those other things are not. So no, we're funding. But that's why we used to get what's called concurrent functions. Yeah. We used to get that amount of money right. to, to stop double taxation. Yes. Yeah, and we don't, we don't and get then, they, then they took a third yeah. away and then they took a third Now it's away. parish service scheme and it's a minute amount of money. Well, they're talking these, about yeah. the, there's two, two schemes that Mike's, Mike tells me about. There's two things on top of the preset, which is what is it, parish service? Yeah. Parish PS, scheme, which is PSS, yeah. and the other one is L, L Local Council Tax Local uh, Support yeah. Grant, which is a central government support grant. 
Which That's is the one that you think will, you, you said, that will stop. They, they talked about that, possibly stopping next year. So, that's it. My conclusion was, me personally, I'm not engaged with all of that, and I wonder who is around this table, I'm a bit and I wonder if somebody should be. I'm a bit confused, though, because the whole point of her original letter was that she wanted us. She said, can you come and tell me that... You can you advise me whether you are willing and principled to contribute to the cost of instructing the professional to action on our behalf? Well, how can she ask well, you to do that? And if she comes to that meeting and doesn't tell you anything to well, actually Well, I think if, if you read it, um, there was two or three things contained in one, one um, email. There was the calling of the meeting, and so it was an AGM. And then there were questions at the end, which I don't think had anything to do with an AGM. Um, it was telling us that two voting yeah. reps um, mandated to speak, and then it was just a question. So I guess the the response, you know, you have to have, you have to have shorthand to understand what, what they're trying to get across to you. And that's where the you know, the people that are regularly might understand it, but us people don't. And and you could read that as saying you are willing, in principle, to contribute to the cost of instruction. Blah blah blah. blah. It wasn't on the agenda. Well, that's crazy, because how can she ask anyone to give any opinion on whether you would in principle if she doesn't explain whether it is going to be depending on your lecturer or... Well, <coughs> well perhaps, perhaps the people that are more alive to this, this meeting, there's this link, MCALC and whatever... Well, I, 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 know, I know that the person who clerks for the John Parrish yeah. Group, so I'll... I'll have a word and say, look, we came yeah. on thought thinking that was going to be the case. But, yeah. but then we've got to say, in view of all of this, that we're not really engaged and the money's going to go to other parts, do we really want to contribute anything anyway? And my, my, my sort of feel of that is, no.